here to provide some commentary from the other side. And, you know, the governor made his announcement. Certainly there were wall-to-wall -wall people here. No doubt about that. He is the governor of the great state of Ohio. I am very much concerned with what the governor has said compared to some of the policies that have come out of his office, uh, particularly when it comes to the state budget and the impact that that budget has had on local governments and also K-12 education. Do you think you'll make a good president? Oh, my goodness. That's for the Republican voters to decide, but the governor is running. There is no doubt about it. So would you be voting for uh, John Kasich in November when he gets the nomination? And why are you messing with, me, messing with me like that? I have not decided who I'm voting for. No, 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 I have decided who I'm voting for. <laughs> Probably not John Kasich. Not the, not the governor. I'm not, not voting the for the governor. governor. Great. Uh, what do you think about um, he was using your... Uh, what do I think about? Oh well, you know what? Listen, the governor and I worked on community and police relations in the state of Ohio. He signed an executive order. For me, that is not Democrat or Republican. It's not a partisan issue. And when it comes to lifting people and changing things, I don't mess around with that. And so I certainly give the governor kudos for signing that executive order getting in there to make sure that the citizens of the state of Ohio has some recourse, particularly in the African-American community, when it comes to the tensions that we are uh, feeling in the state of Ohio and all across the nation. And, you know, myself and Senator Sandra Williams and, and Representative Alicia Reese from Cincinnati, we met with the governor and poured our, our heart and talked about the pain that is being felt in the African-American community. And he created that executive order. He created that task force. He made yours truly co-chair. And there you go. So having myself on the, on the, on the slideshow, I was a bit surprised. I found that out through Twitter. But there are some things that are bigger than all of us. And making sure that we have a remedy to heal and to bridge the divide between the community and the police, that is something that is bigger than all of us, and I'm proud to serve on that task force and now the collaborative. All right, uh, my phone's about to die, but really quick, what do you think of the speech? I mean, this, the governor got lots of claps. You know, he, he, he spoke from the heart, he got the claps, but it's more of what I've heard uh, since I've been in, in the legislature. Right.